The last time Dijon lost back-to-back -back Ligue 1 Conferama games was back in August. And so, three days after a 2-0 reverse in Nîmes, Stéphane Gerbaud's side would have been confident of bouncing back against Nantes on Saturday. The Canaries beaten 2-1 by PSG in midweek, but they did have their chances to snatch a draw. They'll have been determined to get back on track after three consecutive league defeats. It was, however, Dijon who went ahead on just 15 minutes after a long throw-in from Mikel Alphonse. Steffi Mavadidi swivelling and firing home for 1-0. A second goal in three games for the Englishman, who is on loan from Juventus. Julio Tavares with the header there to help it on. And a fine finish from Mavadidi. Nantes 11th at the start of the weekend, eight points ahead of Dijon in 17th. And they managed to get back on level terms five minutes later. Imran Loser with a little scoop ball forward. And Moses Simon took care of the rest. A fifth of the season for Simon. Three in his past three games, even if he and Alfred Gomez, the Dijon goalkeeper, clashed in the process. Both players would later go off injured. Simon staying onside. And bravely applying the finish. But only four minutes later, it was 2-1 to Dijon. Tavares out to Alphonse again. A little touch there from Mavadidi and fired home by Tavares. Well, Nant must be sick of the sight of him. That's now four goals in his last four meetings with the Canaries. Pretty much every chance resulting in a goal in this first half. That was 2-1, but it was 2-2 shortly after the half hour. An own goal from Alphonse. Under pressure from Runo Emon. He claimed that he'd been fouled, but nothing doing. And the goal stood. Actually, one of the better headers that you'll see this weekend in Ligue 1 Conferama. So two goals apiece after a spectacular first half at the Stade Gaston Girard. Well, there was to be late drama as well into the 90th minute. And Dijon thought they'd won it when Mavadidi got his second goal. Pouncing after an acrobatic attempt from Mama Balde was blocked. Mavadidi joining Tavares and Balde on five goals as Dijon's joint top scorer. But it wasn't finished. 92nd minute and an equaliser for Nantes. Coming from behind for the third time in the game as Andre Girotto looped a header over Alex Runnison, the replacement goalkeeper. A dramatic end to the game. A hard-earned point for Nantes. Now, Dijon are unbeaten at home in 10 games now, but they'll be bitterly disappointed not to have won. Nantes stopping the rot after four defeats in all competitions.